Good morning. It's moving day today. So we've just had our morning coffee and then we're going to go, well, Ryan's going to do some like morning checks and then we're going to get off. Hopefully we will be able to leave in the next like 15 minutes. So let's go. Um, yeah, I'm going to be wearing this exact same clothes as yesterday. So I moved all our stuff over and I forgot to leave any clean t-shirts. So yeah, I'll be wearing the same thing. Let's go. <laughs> when the engine man came before, he could get this out, so I'm just going to pull it out now. Oh, maybe not. Put it under there. That's it. It's the old oil filter, but he changed it ours to the new version. So this is the old one. Oh, lovely. So that was there. Got that nice shiny one is. Obviously, when he took it off, it dropped and rolled under there and he couldn't get to it. So he said, that were you? And I said, yes. This is our weed hatch. This is the lid. And under there is the uh, propeller. I'm going to take this off and have a look to see how clear it is. It's a bit cramped now because we've put some extra ballast to the side. So hopefully I can still get this out. Yes, good. Let's put that up here. And then back down here and we'll just open this. Have a little look. So if you can see, try not to drop the phone. That's the prop. And then underneath that is the something. I don't actually know. So let's just have a spin of this prop. The key's out, so don't worry. Just see if there's anything attached around it before we get going. There's a bit of muck around it, but that's okay. Nothing around the bottom of it. Around the front of it. Just some muck, and it feels like it's in good condition. Good. Can't feel anything else. There we go. So that's that. All good to go. I'll put the lid back on. Obviously, it's on our jobs, but we're gonna repaint all of this. This lid's okay, we're gonna keep the lid, probably try and paint whatever we can on the inside and the outside there, just so this doesn't continue to rust over time. A few other bits as well, we need to um, ignore that. Sort out that floor. Again, rust treatment paint, scrape all that up. Uh, this, uh, sorry, the fuel lines need clipping down to something, so maybe we're gonna clip it here a block of wood there something and um yeah that's about it really and then give this all a bit of a tidy up um so let's just get this back on I remember which way i took it off now um imagine it goes that way Got a bit of a uh, material there, so it's a bit more of a seal. Get the lid on the top and get that bolted down. Yeah, so recently put lots of ballast on this side because it had none. There we go, not too tight, but just tight enough so we're not gonna slip off. Cool. Engine's good to go. You ready? 
I'm scared. <laughs> Ready? Are we taking the coal and stuff, are we? Yeah. Okay, so we just need to get rid of that. Oh, that's a good start. We'll give it a second for the glow plugs to warm up. Sure, for a sec, because it's gonna. Where we couldn't see 
how to turn the engine off. Our neighbours came out to try and help and it was just, it was like not even a filming situation. It was like, this is actually a dangerous, stressful situation. So we had it and the engine serviced. So do not fret everybody. We've had the engine yeah. serviced. Everything's been like cleaned out, fresh oil filters, all of that. Um, and the guy said it looked good. He said it looked fine. So that's reassuring. But the other thing is that when we started boating today, there was sm white smoke coming out of the exhaust. So not loads, not like a like in a uh, dangerous way, but it was still coming out. So we were both really on edge for that as well. We were. I was just terrified the same thing was going to happen, and we were in the middle of a river. But it's actually. It didn't last for that long. Maybe like I don't know, an hour or so of um, white smoke, and then it's gone. So I think from looking online we're thinking that it was kind of like residue what do you reckon residue like oil or something in there Maybe, or i'm not sure or it just hadn't quite burnt off all the extra uh, diesel that was stuck in the combustion chamber you know, yeah. i'm not 100 sure but it cleared itself up so that was good and all the smoke has stopped now so we're so happy we're just kind of like in the sun um having something to eat having some drink like elderflower drinks um, and we're just hoping that we're gonna get there. I think we're generally going a bit slower than normal people would go, just cause we're a bit anxious. Um, but I think we're making good time. The lock that we need to go through closes at 7 p.m. So if we can get there by seven, we're winning. We're on task to get it for half six, aren't we? So yeah, like half six, but 20 we are past going six. A bit slower than potentially we should. Yeah, so. I think the engine's getting a bit tired. <laughs> That's probably not even possible, but um, we're just taking it easy. We're taking it easy. And I would rather take it easy and get there than go really, really fast and then have an issue or something. So, yeah. So, that's us. that we get to always like 
comes to us really quickly. We always think we're miles away and then suddenly we like we meet there immediately. Doors are open now, so let's hop on. <laughs> Most of our shoes are gone, the coats are gone, you know, all the photos are falling down. Uh, the PlayStation's gone. Um, a lot of our clothes are gone, it looks really bare. It looks like we're moving out. And we are, we're moving out, really. We've turned all the electric off, we've cleared out the fridge. We'll leave the Coke in there, that'll be fine. Definitely need to clean when we get back. Freezer's empty. Everything else that's going in the bin taken a lot of the plates we've, we've taped up the um, shelves because we're going to be going up in the crane which is over there we don't want everything to be falling out and that's all our crockery and expensive stuff the coffee machine's gone the toilet's empty and clean nothing in here anyway and the bed so we've taken all the duvet and everything off and um, we've taken the suitcases and bits out of there so that's it Chloe we can go Go. Good luck, Ratte. We've got to, we're on a move anyway. I've got to get a prescription, so let's go. Let's go. We can always come back. We'll yeah, we can always come, anyway. yeah, we can always but come back. Yeah, we can always come back. I'm pretty sure we're done. You've got my keys. I've got the keys. Let's get the door shut. The back, that? Yes. Key. Bye bye.